What about the second group, the politicians? Without their involvement, without their ability to take difficult decisions, and the first panel spoke to some of these, we will not solve the fundamental problems facing the Western economies. And what are they? Too little economic growth, too high unemployment, particularly among the young and the long-term unemployed, too much debt in the wrong places, too great political polarization, and too much income and wealth inequality. Ironically, I worked on the Latin American debt crisis of the 80s. That was the same list. And we know that that debt crisis led to a lost decade. So for Europe, the elected representative have to consolidate the gains that have been made due to the ECB, have to move forward on the four stools of European unity, and have to sell this to the electorate. In this country, it's about addressing structural headwinds to growth, the functioning of the labor market, the functioning of the credit market, the, house, the functioning of housing, housing finance, and credit intermediation, where many pipes, especially to the smaller and medium-term enterprises, are still blocked. That is what it takes. And you have to do that in a way that convinces people that you're leading them somewhere that's better than where they are. And that is a problem. 